name is Kedron Paul. Uh, I play cornerback. I went to uh, Fort Hay State University in Kansas. You know, I went to uh, Butte Community College in California two years, and then I transferred to uh, Fort Hay State University for two years. Well, I mean, my first uh, year season there, I led the conference in pass breakups and passes defended and everything. And then my second season, also I earned uh, honorable, not honorable mention, uh, all conference and everything. So I feel like I fared pretty good against the other schools and everything, and other players as well. Uh, I mean, of course you're gonna have a little butterflies, you know, here and there. But once I got things rolling, they went away. Man, I mean everything. I just still, I'm still an underdog, as you can see. I'm not in the NFL right now, so I mean, I'm still grinding. John Howard, safety. Glenville State College. I think I did all right, pretty good. I put forth my best effort. Don't have no regrets about it. Not really. I knew I was going to do good. I've trained for him. I knew I was ready for this. I feel like I did good. Me being from Florida, I, I got some of the uh, high school. I got, got some to go against the best athletes in high school and hey, even the dudes that got the one offers and stuff. I went against them in high school, so I feel good. You know, yes, sir, I need to represent myself and the small school. Greg Romeus, defensive end, University of Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had a great D-line coach at the University of Pittsburgh. Um, my last year there, we, uh, we were the best D-line in the nation. So, I mean, just having that great coach and coming from a great program definitely helped. Um, no, I was actually drafted in 2010, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I had an injury, a battle injuries for the first few years, so they let me go. So now it's going to be and getting back to 100%. Oh, it's great. Been back. Probably about eight months now, so just winning my chance. Uh, six five two sixty. I mean, I definitely want the NFL. That's first and foremost. But I mean, if um, if that chance doesn't come, then I'll go to CFL and prove myself and then get back in. Um, just pretty much what what goes into being a pro. Um, the small things, studying. You know, I mean, knowing the playbook, knowing everything. It's it's a business, and it's not it's not college. So I mean, I think that's the biggest thing I learned is just take care of the opportunity. John Ojo, safety, Florida a &M University. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, about seven and a half hours, but I've already been down here training a little bit. So. I'm from Florida, I'm from Tallahassee. Yes, it is. Um, I was supposed to come out last year, but I got hurt, so um, I got another year on the red shirt, so I guess it's my first year. Um, I think I did pretty good. I was a little sore from my pro day on Tuesday, but um, overall, I think I did pretty good. Pro day went well. Um, Talked to a few scouts. And I think that went well too. So, um, yeah, I was already registered. My agent already registered me, so I just said, why not go ahead and do it? Hopefully, you know, <laughs> can't promise anything. It's up to them. So, uh, my name is Randolph Tribble. I'm a cornerback, nickelback, and I went to Missouri Valley College. That's where I finished up my senior year. At. Yeah, I went to Eastern Illinois from 2009 to 2012, where I played as a true freshman, and I started as a sophomore and as a junior. So. I had to transfer down to a smaller school because I had an injury in my shoulder. So, I mean, it all worked out though because I had a pretty good season. Oh no, that's doing real good. I ended up with seven forced fumbles, four fumble recoveries, and three block kicks, and just in turnover stats last year. So, the shoulder's doing good. I came to this one because I went to the Tampa Combine and it was outdoors, and I was really trying to do an indoors combine. I knew about the Miami Dolphins facility, I knew about the bubble, and that's what I came for to get better times, crisper times, and I did. I didn't prove my times in the shuttle to 40 and in broad jump. I mean, I, I put up good numbers too, so I mean, it's just being competitive. I like to be competitive, whether it's the top of the cream of the crop or whether it's the bottom of the bottom, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go hard no matter what. Oh, no, no, sir. I mean, I went to Tampa. It was a new thing for me, so I kind of knew what I had to do already coming in. You gotta make the best of every opportunity, and you can't really mess up. There's no second chances. Okay. Chris Richard Jean Baptiste, uh, defensive tackle. Went to SUNY Maritime College. It's in the Bronx, right under the Drugs Neck Bridge in New York. Very close, yep, very close to the city. Yes, I uh, just graduated in January, got my degree, and I just got out. Uh, international Transport and Trade. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I did good. I felt good. You know, I gave it all I had. I did all right. Yes, first come back. It's praying, me. I'm praying. I'll be on both knees, praying all night till, till Thursday. Yes, my last year in college was my best year. Felt the best. I was in the best shape of my life. So I'm just trying to keep it going. Uh, I found out about the regional combine from a friend. 
Dog who had recently did it. So and then to have ended up uh, getting it. No, I'm from New York. From New York, uh, from Long Island, Westbury. Yeah, so I'm far away from here. I took a plane. Uh, I took a plane down here. I'm living at one of my friend's house. He lives down in uh, Miami. Uh, I just want to keep working. I want to keep working. If I, I get an opportunity, just keep, keep grinding. Just keep it grinding. Markel Rice, outside linebacker, Newberry University. Uh, I think I did okay. Uh, position drills, I was a little off, but you know, they just go without pressing. So next time, I know what, what to expect. Uh, a little bit, but you know, just try to block everything out. And just know I'm competing against myself, nobody else. No, nah, not at all. You know, back where I'm from, like, Division II is the SEC. Uh, Division II is the best Division II conference in, in the nation. So, no, nah, not at all. Like, I'll be pretty excited. Yeah. Just got to thank God, though, for, for the opportunity just to be here and competing. I'm hey, Martin Wright. I play DN slash outside linebacker, Florida Atlanta University. I feel like I did good, man. Hard working. Hard work pays off, man. I've been working hard long, but played the end all my life. Came out here and played outside linebacker and, and then it, it worked for me. Training schedule three times a day. Uh, morning schedule, uh, 7, 7 a.m. Afternoon schedule, Pilates, then night workout, weights. Try to get four times a day. Four times a day consistently that you won't lose no weight. With a shake in between. Uh, Saturday and Sunday. I love Saturday and Sunday. Position work on Saturdays, but the rest the rest of the day. I have a trainer, Mike, from uh, American Heritage, uh, D2D. Man, I feel like I did good. I feel like I did good. As long as I pay attention and, and do what the coaches tell me to do, everything gonna be all right for me. Drill Holman, um, safety. Arizona State University. Um, I feel it was pretty good. You know, uh, it's players all around, you know, small and big schools, so you can't underestimate anybody. So I got to bring my A game every time, no matter what school I'm from. Everybody's from the same spot, basically. Yeah, I have um, a few friends that go to small schools and they're great talents, so I wasn't surprised about anything. Some people get in certain situations where they have to go to small schools. It's not really based on talent, so like I said, you got to respect everybody's talent. Uh, it was rigorous. Uh, it was rigorous. I had a little setback, and so I had to get back grinding. But it was rigorous, and it was pretty good. I felt pretty good. So um, I um, bumped knees with somebody, and it swelled my knee. And my knee flamed up, so I had to set out for like two weeks. It swelled up real bad, so I had to sit out. So I mean, no excuses though. I trained after that, so I came in prepared. All levels fitness in Arizona. Um, Don Abrams is a trainer. I train with a few guys. There's a few NFL players that work out with me. A few guys uh, that's coming out of college. A few guys that was in the NFL trying to get back in. So, uh, yeah, just stay focused. Stay, stay, stay focused and stay hungry. And never be unprepared. You know, always prepare. And you know, you can get it if you want it. You know, never quit. Time to do hard. University of Pittsburgh, Battle State. Defense tackle. Valdosta State is in Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, it was one of those situations where uh, it wasn't quite working out for me. And, you know, I was kind of a knucklehead and got a second chance at, you know, playing my senior. Yeah, yeah I mean, when, I got kids now, so, it, you know, <laughs> you, you tend to grow up, you mature, you learn from what, uh, whatever choices you make. I don't say mistakes anymore because that, when you know right from wrong, you have a choice and you have to deal with that choice. So. You know, I made some wrong choices, I learned from them, and you know, now as a grown man with kids of my own, I conduct myself accordingly and differently. Um, I think I did well, you know, it gave me an opportunity to be seen again, because you know, now at 27, you know, some coaches or scouts tend to think, you know, I'm getting at an older age, but I still got it. You know, some things it's just like riding a bike, you never forget. Besides train, yeah, I train every day and go to work, so yes, I've been doing a whole lot of it. <laughs>
between working 12, 10 to 12 hour shifts and then going into the gym right after, you know, it can be hard, it's tiresome. Then I got my child and then I'm about to have a daughter to be born. So, you know, you got all these things going on, plus trying to make time for this. It's kind of hard to chase that dream, but you know, I'm persistent. Not at all. This is, this is a playground for me. This is my sanctuary. For some people, it's the church, the library. But for me, it's football. This is why. This is one place where I'm. I'm never nervous, and I just feel at peace.